this is exactly what Pembroke's all about for me. Amazing routes, perfect rock and good gear. I love Gogarth, it's, it's, it is great and it's, it's more adventurous than Pembroke. I don't do loads of track climbing nowadays, um, I used to do a lot more but I do a lot more sport climbing and Pembroke's a lot easier to get into um, track climbing. It, you can sort of, you can come down here having not done that much for quite a while and just get stuck in and get, get involved with whatever routes you want, whereas Gogarth's it's more adventurous, which means I feel like I need to be doing more trad climbing to get into it. We're at the top of St Govan's in Pembroke. Sort of the, the classic place to be. The route that we're going down to do is called the Arrow. Oh, there's a lovely crack line in a groove. Is this a, a classic Pembroke climb then? Is this like one yeah, of the... Yeah, this is one of the climbs to come and do in Pembroke, for sure. That's, that's, yeah, it's probably one of the best E1s down here. The, the Arrow is quite a good E1 to sort of test, test yourself on in terms of pushing your grade because there's a lot of gear on it. Um, the start's a little bit tricky, it's a bit steep. Um, you need to make sure you find some good gear. It's, a, it's just a great route with um, it's a great position. It's just everything about Pembroke that's really good. It's, sort of, it's got great gear, great rock, superb moves, it's a long route and it's quite easily accessible to everyone. It's popular, but it's not too polished because the, the rock down here is quite rough and quite sort of sharp and prickly. It doesn't polish up that quickly. It is one of the more well-trafficked routes down here just because it's such a good route at such a great grade for people to climb. And pretty much everyone does it who, who comes down here, whether you're climbing hard or whether you're just leave new ones. But it doesn't the rock doesn't polish up too much down here. And then after that it's just a, just continuously interesting climbing. Always well protected. A little bit of a thin bit at the top. Yeah, nothing too hard but just quite sustained. So the second route we did was um, called Beast from the Undergrowth in Huntsman's Leap. What a place to climb. Pretty cool. Huntsman's Leap is probably the most photographed area of Pembroke. Very um, recognisable. It's my favourite place to climb down here. The atmosphere down there is great. It looks like it's going to be really scary and intimidating, but it's not when you get down there. It's just really peaceful and calm and it's great. And It's quite airy down there, isn't it? It is quite eerie down there, yeah. It's, I mean, you came down, didn't you, and had, had a look down there, and it's, yeah. I, I don't know what it is down there. It's, I find it quite peaceful, and especially when the tide's out, and just down there to climb, there's nothing else going on, and there's no tourists about, sort of there at the top, out the way, and it's quite surreal having the two walls so close to you, and sort of climbing on one side with, you definitely feel the presence of the other wall behind you, which is quite cool. I quite like that. Beast from the Undergrowth is on the east wall, which is a little slabby. It's, it's not too pumpy. Again, great gear. It's just great climbing. and it is, it is a good E2, again, to sort of have a go at. There's nothing too unobvious. There's, there's nothing that's going to surprise any sort of aspiring E1 leader to put you off, or it's quite an e easy, accessible one again. Oh, there's maybe a little bit less gear. The arrow's got gear wherever you want. Beast from the undergrowth is a little bit. There's a little bit less gear on it, so you've got to place. When you get to some good gear, you you need to place it really. Whereas the arrow, you can climb, you need to climb past a lot of it because you'll run out of gear if you put it all in. The crux is definitely a little bit trickier than anything on the arrow. It's sort of pulling through a bit of a bulge, which makes it feel a little bit steeper at that point. The rest of the route's quite slabby, but that bit's a little bit. You've, you've got to pull a little bit. That was good to give the 
grassy top out's a bit of respect. Make sure you get a bit of gear in before you do them, just in case. The, the great thing about Pembroke is it, it, it's like sport climbing, but on trad gear. You've just got so many good wire placements all over the place. It just feels like you're climbing on bolts. Pleasure Dome, um, a total must do for, for anyone who's aspiring to climb harder in Pembroke. It's quite significantly harder than the E1 and the E2 we did. It's a lot steeper, a lot more involved, quite intimidating. Um, it traverses a lot, so your rope work needs to be good. And it's, it's quite a tough E3, really. It's sort of at the top of the grade, so it is a great introduction to the steeper, harder routes here. It's definitely one to sort of test yourself on before you, before you do any of the E4s and E5s. It's got quite a tricky fingery crux on it at the end of the traverse which feels quite exposed and intimidating. You've got the sea crashing below you, the wall's quite steep below you, so it cuts away. And it just, it goes through territory that an E3 shouldn't go through. It feels like it should be E5, but it, it's not. And I think that's what makes a good route very special. There's, there's not that many routes where you look at it and go, you can't climb through there at that grade, but you can, and it's, it's yeah, it ad definitely adds to the experience. The route Pleasure Dome that we've just done, Classic E3, but pretty top end for the grade. It's a tough one, definitely. I think it's a, it's a really good introduction to the harder routes in Pembroke. What a superb route. If you can lead this, it, it leaves you in good stead to move on to E4s and E5s here. What a lovely day in Pembroke. Yeah. What you come down for, a long way to come, but when it's like this, it makes it all worthwhile. 